So now in this video, I have uh, an old diagram here where we have an op amp here wired as a comparator. We are comparing a fixed voltage will be which will be half of the supply voltage. So that's coming to the inverting input, which is actually pin two there. Pin three down there is the non-inverting input uh, right there, the plus. So you can see that I swapped the position on the schematic there. On the physical component, you always have to make sure you wire it to the right one, no matter uh, which one's higher on the schematic. So in any case, we got our uh, fixed uh, voltage there. We could adjust it to uh, change the light sensitivity. So right now we have enough uh, light right now falling on the light dependent resistor to raise the voltage uh, above 2.5 volts. We know that because the red LED is lit up. The output is high. We have a higher voltage at the uh, non-inverting input than the inverting input. That means there's a high output. It gets as close to 5 volts as it can, probably like 4 volts. You lose some uh, voltage on the uh, high side of the output. Uh, the red LED lights up right there. Now I can either uh, cover it or I can get the uh, lamp. I can't get the lamp dim enough until I turn it off. The overhead light is uh, energy saving light. You can see that the blue LED uh, lit up. That means that the output uh, went low. So we can, you know, cover it. And uh, basically that's what we're doing there. You can see it uh, pulls the voltage down and uh, we have a connection to ground because when we cover the light dependent resistor, its resistance goes way up. The darker it gets, the more resistance it has. And uh, so we got a better connection to ground. Once we get below 2.5 volts, that's all we need to uh, set the output low. Doesn't matter what the voltage is after that point, as long as it's below approximately 2.5 volts since we used uh, fixed resistors. Uh, so when the output's low, we have a, a connection to ground. So this is all stuff I covered a lot in other videos. So we're not going to uh, dwell on them too much. I'll zoom in a little bit closer so we can see the uh, pin layout again for uh, this particular op amp. Uh, positive supply top right, uh, bottom left. Could be ground or a negative supply if it's a, a split supply. And um, we have the output on top, the inverting input below that, minus, and the non-inverting. Pin number three right there. So I even wrote the pin numbers on there. And um, we will take a look at the actual circuit right there. So positive, negative. I uh, shuffled the LEDs to be a little easier to see than uh, the last uh, couple videos I did on the op amp. So they're going to the top pin there, the output 1,220. And then there's our fixed voltage divider. Again, that's going to the inverting input. That's our reference voltage. And our signal here is the uh, voltage divider with the light dependent resistor and the 10K uh, resistor. So one thing to note, uh, since that's a 10K resistor, that means that uh, right now this has less resistance than 10,000 ohms. And uh, when the uh, blue LED is lit up, now it has more than uh, 10,000 ohms of resistance, the light dependent uh, resistor. We know that because that's the uh, fixed values that we have right there. We're either above or below when it comes to uh, this top one right there. So in any case, uh, gonna keep it short. Hope you enjoy that. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.